What we heard consistently from all our participants over time was that that one hour that they got together every week from their colleagues was the most enjoyable hour of their work week. So would you yeah. say there's no but? There's no but. So there's no but. We're facing some unprecedented challenges in our parks that we've never really faced before. Uh, things, of course, like climate change, unprecedented rates of invasive species, the loss of night skies. And so these are really complicated stories to tell. And we have a renewed need now, as we enter into our second century of stewardship, to understand the power of story and harness it for the protection of these special places. I first heard about Story Circles after I heard Randy Olson was coming to our building and quite honestly I thought it was more of a learn how to write situation and I'm really glad it wasn't that. <laughs> the first time I ever heard about the Story Circles training was when my colleague Larry Perez um, allowed us to have a kind of introductory lesson for it at our Oak Ridge office. It really sounded like something that I wanted to do. It was very applicable to the work that I do here at the National Park Service. The narrative training, as, as we were pitched originally, was that it was almost akin to going to the gym and working out on a regular basis. I can tell you that is absolutely correct. It is, it is demanding. In some cases, it is draining. In some days, it's exhausting but you walk out of there stronger than when you came in. I see my abstracts getting shorter, more concise, and much more compelling. I've seen the ABT very useful. Sometimes, you know, it helps me with writer's block a lot, so I just kind of work through the process, and I usually end up with something that I'm really happy with, so it's been great for me. Oh, the interacting with some colleagues that I had never even met before uh, within my own building and seeing how they would rate an abstract how, as compared to how I rate an abstract. And sometimes, you know, we, we had everything from an eight to a two in the same group, which really surprised me and at the, first, at the beginning frustrated me. I was like, what, how can they possibly think that? Uh, but by the end, we were, we were starting to think very similar. Uh, from an ABT standpoint. Midway through, one of the participants in one of our circles told me that he had just finished writing up a grant proposal and he had done it using the ABT format. He totally rewrote it and he came in during the fifth session of Story Circles and proudly said, we've got the funding from this and it's, I think, because I reworked it. I see my own writing has changed quite a bit. Um, the the most important um, time that I used it, we were trying to summarize our research findings for elk um, at Rocky Mountain National Park, and we needed a very short, brief, grabbing type of a paragraph to make sure that the decision makers were going to fund our research for the next couple of years. And I almost fell off my chair when the chief of resources read it, and he's like, Great, I have no questions. I, I what? <laughs> Mostly I've, I've seen it increase the confidence in my colleagues a lot, especially some that come from a more scientific background. Perhaps the most important thing that they've gotten out of this is that we've all got now a shared language of narrative. These folks had invested so much time, effort, commitment, willingness to see this through to completion, we wanted to reward them in some way. And so the morning of our 10th session, I stopped by the local grocery store, hit up the deli, picked up a sheet cake, and asked the person behind the counter, can you write something on this for me? Just three letters, A, B, T. And that was the first of what would become six different A, B, T cakes and pies to celebrate the completion of each one of our circles. Uh, my cake was vanilla. I would have preferred chocolate, but it was delicious.
I look forward in the years ahead really to doing more of this throughout the National Park Service. Uh, we have 417 sites across the nation that are all responsible for telling stories. And in my mind, this is something that every single one of us needs to go through in the service to be effective in our jobs.